Hey, it's Central Valley Business. I'm your host, Steve Walling. My guest for this segment is Sheila Pickerel from the Porterville Museum. Welcome to the show, Sheila. Thank you very now, much. Now, I want to know about this Porterville Museum. Well, it started in uh, 1965. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, 52 years old. The building uh, was a Southern Pacific uh, Railroad station, and it's over 100 years old. Is it one of those old stations that were kind of, and then there was like a center little tower mm -hmm. thing? Really? Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. kind of. Yeah. That's very California, too. Very much so. Yeah. Great. So it's it's 52 years old, you said? 52 years old. So it's been around a bit. Mm -hmm. It's got, I bet you, a lot of stuff in there, doesn't it? We have stuff from the um, Central Valley tribes, the Yokas. Really? We have um, Native American baskets, and, and then we mm -hmm. have also nature. We have a 1942 condor, really? and the wingspan on that's nine and a half feet. Ooh, Pretty good size bird. Mm -hmm. And they, you should see the kids. They love them. They love them. And uh, wh what, uh, you've got some activities going on. Tell me, what, what, what do we got happening down there right now? Um, on the 28th, we have the Ghost Hunter International, Barry Fitzgerald. He was okay. the lead exhibit. Stop right there. What is the Ghost Hunter? Tell us a little bit about this. Well, this is interesting. It, it was uh, it's with Taps. It was a TV show that is no longer around. And he goes and investigates ghosts. Really? Uh-huh. And, Sounds good. And he's going to do a lecture, and he's going to do an investigation. There at the, the, the museum. At the museum itself. Yes. Oh. We have had some things going on. People get attached to their things, and they don't want to leave them. Well, that should be interesting. It is. And For all those people that are interested in, in the go and I actually, I know a few people that are <laughs> really into that stuff. We have, uh, they've got a place up in uh, Oakhurst, the Sierra Sky Ranch, that has a lot of you know, ghost stuff up there. But so he's going to be there, and, and and this is going to be open to the public, right? It's you have to have tickets. It's limited seating, and the tickets are fifty dollars. But he he's coming from all the way from Ireland to do mm -hmm. this for us. He supports the museum quite well. Well, that's wonderful. But that's not the only thing you got going on. What else is happening there? We have our annual model train show. It's the thirty third year, and it's the biggest one in Tulare County. It opens the day after Thanksgiving mm -hmm. to the first week of January. And and uh, these are layouts? They're layouts. There's 19 layouts, 30 trains. There's eight different gauges. We have one that is no bigger than, uh, the cars are no bigger than a quarter. No kidding. It's That's called small. a nano gauge. Really? Mm -hmm. See, I was, you know, I, I just remember the old Lionel and then the HO, and that was about my experience. We have a standard, a G gauge, a O gauge, an N gauge, and a Z gauge, and the nano. And I think there's a couple more in between there. Real, do, do they have the, the bigger ones that, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, what are those called? Well, they cost uh, quite yeah. a bit of money. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we went into um, a train uh, store, and one of the engines can run up anywhere from two to $10,000. No kidding. Yes. Now, are, the, are these uh, layouts that are owned by the museum, or, or are they donated to? They're them? donated to, but um, they're owned by the museum. Don't and we set, up, we set it up every year, and it takes six to eight weeks to set it up. Wow. Because we don't leave it up. Yeah, so it's just, just for this limited time period from mm -hmm. Thanksgiving to runs to Christmas. Huh? Right, we're right the week after Christmas. And close it down. Mm -hmm. And you get a lot of people through there for that? We get about 2,000, and we get them all over the world mm -hmm. and all over the United States. Well, there's a, yeah, there's a lot of hobbyist stuff, mm -hmm. that, you know. And we've got some people come in, and they um, started with the Underwater Society. And the reason why they called it the Underwater is because their first meeting was pouring down rain. So oh, they okay. ended up in that. <laughs> but they started it with two layouts, and now uh -huh. it's so big. And so, lights, smoke, yeah. noise, oh. everything you can think about. For all of us young kids, right? Mm -hmm. Go and have From a good time. one to 110. There you go. That sounds really great. Um, what else we got going on down there? After that, we have the Boy Scouts. Uh, Scott Moreland, who is, um, was a Boy Scout leader, he's been collecting uniforms and um, different things for, oh, I guess ever since he was little. And uh, he has the first uniform the, uh, that was had, and he has 100 years. He also has uniforms for all over the world. Really? Yeah, and what's really neat, the kids love it because they get to find the string, mm -hmm. and he gets to point it where it, where they it came go. from. Yeah. So. Oh, what a great that. And it's going to be. Now is that ongoing or is that up now? It's used usually every. Um, it was semi-annual, mm -hmm. but um, this might be the last one because he's moving to Idaho. 
Oh, no, he can't. Well, he can move, but he leaves stuff behind, right? Well, he's leaving the <laughs> local stuff, so yes. Okay. So do you got a web website? or? Yeah, we have the Portable Museum at, uh, dot org, and we have the email, Portable Museum at gmail.com. Do you have a Facebook page by chance? Yes, we do. And it's Porterville Museum. Yes, it is. All right, so listen, you can find out all this stuff. If you didn't get it here, write it down. Go back and look at the web page or the Facebook page. This is great stuff. Oh, yes. You it's know, a lot of fun. And you get people from all over the, that come to... They come to the training show, oh, yes, all over the place. Wonderful. And the next one after that's the Barn Theater. It's one of our community theaters. We had M.B. Davis. We've had um, many directors that right. come from there, major ones. And we have a lot of sport um, legends that come from Portobello, and we have, we're going to honor them. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. All right here in the Central Valley. Who'd have guessed? No, nope. <laughs> not too many. <laughs> Sheila, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot with that. Oh, thank, thank you. you. And uh, Porterville might be the place you want to be, particularly between uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. See this. Uh, of course, the ghost thing is very interesting, so check them out. Maybe you'll get a chance to go if you're early enough on your tickets. We'll see you when we come back.